What did your friend do that accidentally turned you on? Came to drop off food and medicine while I was sick. I was absolutely not in the mood but I wish I was. A girl I became friends with on a school trip in high school fell asleep on my shoulders on the ride back. I'm still coasting on that memory. I was annoying him, so he picked me up over his shoulder and dropped me on the couch, no biggie, was kinda hoping he'd spank me after propping me over his shoulder but, the spanking would have been a huge gamble for him to do. I used to chat with a coworker during our smoke breaks, we were the only smokers there, we quickly became friends, then one day, just before Christmas, I get to work and notice her wearing a big pink ribbon in her hair, I tell her I like your ribbon, it's cute, and her face lights up, she runs up to me, grabs my head and kisses me on the cheek, then thanks me. When we were young and had sleepovers, my female friend at the time and I would sleep in the same bed, I'm also female, and one night she like cuddled up to me and spooned me while was was sleeping, I don't think she was aware at all, but I was like oh 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 I like this very much. Get your butt in the car, we're going to get Chinese food he knew I wasn't in a great state of mind and we had been friends for a handful of years. He drove to find me when I wouldn't tell him where I was. After food he drove me to the store to get Nerf guns and we battled. Wound up marrying him. Casually walking down the street. She then grabs my arm just like a couple would do. It's in that time you need to focus. I was unsure about something, and he started reassuring me by telling me how smart and hardworking I am. It wasn't really what he said, but how he said it. He got this very earnest stern look on his face that I hadn't seen before, held eye contact, stopped what he was doing, and told me why he was certain I'd be okay. She did that thing that girls do where they tilt their head. She was just listening to me talk about MRSA, we're nursing students, and she was kind of smiling, listening to me go into depth about the illness for a test review, and she ever so slightly tilted her head and kept her very pretty eyes directly on mine. That mixed with the slight smile got my stomach in knots and I just started. Stuttering like a fool. It only happened like a week ago. She didn't really do anything. I just randomly had a really nice dream with her. I had a crush on her since. It is crazy how much dreams change the way you feel about people in real life like it's a completely fake scenario that only happened in your brain and they have no idea about it and yet some of them have changed the way I've felt about people permanently. Not necessarily a turn on but when I was in art school we went to a museum with a clown exhibit. One of my classmates whom I had very little prior interaction with had a fear of clowns. At a certain point something spooked her, she grabbed my arm. I felt like me big monkey, me keep pretty lady safe stupid as it was I had a little crush on her afterwards. We played fight and she took the pretty seriously, it was like WWE and our bodies were way too close, I felt her chest on my back. She even bit my arm. Nah, that's foreplay. Put his finger in my mouth. We've been married eight years now. Ah, so that's where that button is. Me and my female best friend got on the topic of massages. She jokingly said I should rub her feet. I said sure and gave her a massage. She then asked me to do her calves, hands, and arms and she gave me a hand massage. What turned me on was seeing her enjoy the massage. This happened like two days ago and I have a big crush on her but can't tell if she likes me or if she genuinely wanted to show me. How to massage. Helping me put on a tie because I didn't know how. S this just brought me back to 2013. I was 18 years old, living in South Korea of all places, not Korean and didn't speak Korean, and I had a job interview at some restaurant. I was running late, slapped on a dress shirt with the tie in my hands but could not for the life of me figure out how that works. I was waiting for the subway trying to tie it, when some old man came up to me and did it for me. It didn't turn me on but that was awesome. I did get the job though. Run their hands through my hair at the base of my neck. That turns all mammals on lol. She moved in with me during the pandemic, soon after she asked for a back rub. That led to massages and then real intimacy. Never looking back. Best thing to ever happen to me. Dude she came into your life like a cat does. Minus the real intimacy part. But the way it started, for sure. Come inside during a storm, gets pets, never leaves. 
One time at a party she was a bit tipsy and started to stroke my neck. Tied her hair up while we were playing Mario Kart. Shaved his head. We'd been friends for about a year, he had medium length hair but was balding badly, basically no hair on top at all. It had been a minute since we'd hung out and he walked in with a completely shaved head and I was like, damn I need to date this man. He looked so good, still does, we've been together 7 years now and have a baby. Not friend per se but work colleague. Leaned back in an office chair with his hands behind his head smirking a little. Completely out of context in the situation but my mind equated it with the position some men adopt when they're right about to get head. Took me right out of the meeting. Put her hand on top of my head and scratched twice as she walked by my chair, sent tingles down my back. Didn't know I like head scratches, woof low. I was pretty good, if not best friends with someone I never thought I would be attracted to. We were at the bar one night and I was cold. He took his favorite jacket and put it over my shoulders and hugged me. I got a feeling for him I'll never forget after that. I did this before with my best friend and I gave her my jacket and hugged her and the look she gave me after that made me melt and almost walk into a tree. Was at a small party at her house, was in the kitchen by myself making a drink when she rushed in, told a stupid joke and immediately began cracking up with this big stupid grin on her face. Skipped right past horny straight to love. We both tried grabbing the same cup and looked at each other. Been together for a while now. I don't know how long you've been together but one of you should probably release your grip soon. The entire group went clubbing. He was saying something that I could not hear. He bent down and spoke against my ear. Questioned our two decades of platonic relationship at that second. Didn't even hear what he said. Tackled me. Not in a playful way either. She was trying her best to take me down, and generally succeeded. We were always just friends but in those moments after we'd hit the ground, I sometimes felt a little different about it. Put his arm around my waist when I was having a panic attack and kinda held me which turned into cuddles then I looked up at him to thank him and there was this look of love in his eyes and yeah. When I, 26 female, went out for a drink one night with my friend C, 25 male, there was a guy I knew, he was hitting on me asking me to go home with him and being really aggressive about it. I turned him down and the guy immediately turned on my friend. The guy got in C's face, saying that it was his fault that I wouldn't go home with him, that he was a CK block. C just stood his ground, crossed his arms and told him to leave in a very calm, firm voice. The drunk guy eventually left but it was such a turn on to see C remain so level-headed and come in a tense situation where I'm used to guys being so reactive. It was super hot. Lightly ran her new nails across my head and back for a week. From that point on, I vowed to buy new nails for my future girlfriends whenever they wanted. I went back on that vow after buying nails a few times, because nails are expensive. Literally asked me to pick her outfits for the weekend and modeled all morning in different outfits while telling me to pick some out. Didn't leave the room to change. She poked me in the side which resulted in me jerking an arm up to block her which furthermore resulted in me having a fistful of titty. We dated for a bit but decided that we were better off as just friends. She is now cheating on her BF with my best friend and I am very very disappointed in both of them. I was invited to a new co-worker's birthday party. She was pretty buzzed by the time I arrived and ended up introducing me to all her friends as her hot boss. His hand on my thigh, wanted to show me what his ex-GF did to him while he was talking about their breakup. I'm not attracted to him at all but dem a hand on my thigh makes me weak. Yuff. A friend came back for seconds after she grazed my forearm while I was washing dishes. Gave it a squeeze and mouthed damn before walking away. Never been anything between us, but I got capital F flustered and. Still think about it years later. Weird to be hung up on an interaction, not necessarily the person. We were listening to a speech about a topic I wasn't familiar with, so we were in the back and he was whispering explanations in my ear, and he had a really nice voice later I noticed the collar of his blazer had folded up, so L let him know, and with that nice voice he said fix it then and bent his knees so I could reach. He was so warm could feel it without even touching him, and he smelled so. Good. 
was watching a horror movie with my best friend, something happened and she screamed, jumped into my lap, and wrapped her arm around my neck. She's a lesbian, I am obviously not interested in her, but I got hard as rock instantly. I was positioned in a way that she didn't notice thankfully. Rolled his sleeves up and reversed perfectly. ETA. I didn't expect this to get as much attention as it did so I addressed some questions. Yes, it was in a manual car. It was a hot summer's day so he rolled up his sleeves before we got in the car. Yes, he did put his hand on the back of my chair. I am very tactile. He isn't with anyone else but he always would pull me next to him when we were outside and it was chilly, would sit into my space at work meetings, always put his hand on my lower back when walking me in front of him or next to him. It was nothing overtly sexual but the fact he didn't do that with anyone else, oh my. My guy best friend just just hugged me out of nowhere, I don't know what happened to me but something. She grabbed my collar and then whispered in my ear that I'm a bad boy. She showed me how the tattoo on the back of her upper thigh moves when she bends over. I was 19 and she was wearing short shorts. That was enough to make me blush. She let out a small moan when I whispered happy birthday in her ear. We spoke about it and she said air blown on her ear pedals turned her on. Did that again playfully things turned hot made out and a few times after that things got weird we don't look in the eye anymore. We were joking and she turned back grabbed my neck and lightly strangled me. I haven't been the same ever since. A few days ago a girl I brought over started biting me pretty hard. I learned something new about myself that night for sure. Put her arm around me and leaned against me. Yeah that's all. I asked her outside a party if my eyeliner had smudged. She took my jaw in her hands and gently but firmly turned my face back and forth to examine my makeup then lightly patted my cheek and said it looked fine. I couldn't even thank her, I just nodded and we moved on while I gathered myself, lol. The way he shook my hand. Static shocked her nipple on something metal. I don't know it was kinda hot. I fumbled a move one night dancing with a friend. I thought he was going to dip me, but he spun mine instead. Still, my mistake was enough for him to notice, so he dipped me and said there. I've got you this time. No right to be as hot as it was. Pulled my hair. I was doing something on the computer, and she suddenly pulled my hair. Weirdest feeling ever, but my acting skills was on point and nobody noticed a thing. Gave me some eyes that were unintentionally intimate as I was helping bandage her finger that she accidentally cut badly. Sort of the look at you being all caring and helpful. I was hanging out with some of my guy friends and they all started kicking a ball around so I sat on the side near some cool flowers I wanted to draw, I wasn't paying attention and at one point the ball started going towards me and one of the guys ran right in front of me like inches from me to stop it he then spent like 5 minutes checking if I was okay then gave me head pats. That wasn't a normal thing for us but now it has become one. So yeah. He posted a picture captioned with something like gonna bring back the disco look and he had a dress shirt on half unbuttoned showing a bit of chest. He's also got long hair that was kinda tousled and he had like a smirk slash half smile going on. Phew. That was a look, TM. We were at a party drinking Andy got handed a shot. I said, this one is going to F me up. He looked right at me and softly said, don't worry, I'll take care of you. I threw that shot straight back. We were wrestling and I pinned her down. She said if this were a movie we'd make out right now. I didn't go for it that was 15 years ago I was just her maid of honor at her wedding I love her but oof. She whipped her hair from one shoulder to the other. She was talking about how she was into biting and I called her weird. She bit my forearm, no blood, right before class. Yeah that was a fun hour. Weird one here, but it was a staring contest. She claimed she was good at it and beat everyone before me to prove it. You play to win normally and I'm usually not one for staring, but I couldn't look away from the big, beady hazel eyes she had. So even if she got closer to throw me off, it's honestly what I wanted because she basically doubled how cute she already was in that moment. Needless to say, I didn't lose. She looked away to blink and then playfully nudged me in defeat while grinning. It was a done deal then I developed a crush on her from that day onward.
We were at a party, I poured a shot, liquor spilled on my hand and it got sticky which I hate. She proceeded to lick my entire hand clean, confused and horny. I was teaching her how to drive manual. Her first time driving, she got into first without stalling and shifted all the way to sixth. It was so perfect as if it was an automatic transmission. One year later and we're married. Anytime I've ever had to ride on a close guy friend's lap in a car it took every ounce of self-control I had not to grind. Probably when a friend of mine was joking about how I'm such a bottom, and grabbed my collar in the process to prove their point. I literally couldn't do anything. Just went limp with my mouth agape like they'd flipped a power switch. He offered to drop me home on his bike. It was so cold and he was wearing gloves. He told me to put my hands in his hoodie's pockets so I won't be cold. During the ride, we were sort of cuddling I guess. I could feel muscles and I just couldn't concentrate him out. Sat on my lap and started. Bouncing and shaking around. Called me sir. I didn't even know this was a turn on. She dropped me off at the airport. I said thank you, goodbye, and gave her a kiss on the cheek before turning to get out of the car. As I started to get out, she said, is that it? Turned back, locked eyes, and suddenly my heart started to ache. Suddenly I didn't want to leave. We embraced but it was the first time we did so that wasn't as just as friends. I remember holding her in the car, not wanting to let go, and suddenly having this rush of feelings that LD never let myself feel before. I remember when LD got into my destination, I was going to visit my aunt for a few weeks, and my aunt mentioned I seemed heartbroken. I knew at that moment I was in love with my best friend. We've been together ever since I got back home. We just celebrated our 18th anniversary on March 17th. I'm turned on by intimacy, so when one my best friends poured his heart out over a deceased relative, and then said he had never told anyone, I felt both turned on and extremely guilty. I went to boop her nose and she licked the tip of my finger, ran to the washroom to was my hand, well in reality is because I had a huge ass boner. Went round to a friend's house to play D&D. She made us all nachos and chicken. At the end I went to wash up so as not to leave her with all our mess. L turned around and she put her hand on my chest, stared me straight in the eyes and told me I didn't need to help. Nothing overtly sexy but she held my gaze and had her hand on my chest just slightly longer than would be expected. Anyway we're married now. She sent me fit checks of her goth outfits on Snapchat with no idea that I have a thing for that look. Platonic sleepover. We were last two awake, hanging out above the sheets on a bed. She was wearing black panties. We were both on our phones in silence. She adjusts and her leg is now ever so slightly touching me. All I could think was, don't get an erection, don't get an erection, don't get an erection. Years later it was admitted that adjustment was purposeful. Been together nearly a decade. Now, had my best friend visiting me from another city. He slept over, in the same bed as me. During the night as he was asleep, he put his arm around me over my waist and we slept like that for the rest of the night. Even though we'd been friends forever and I knew it didn't mean anything it still made me feel fuzzy inside. God I miss him so much. Played drums with a v-neck sweater on. We were playing a game called The Forest. It's a survival game where you fight cannibals. I went to build a box to hold bones which I had called a bone holder. She turned, looked at me, stared into my soul and said till be your bone holder. Been together almost two years now. Rolled his sleeves up during a shift at work, I was 19 and he must have been a couple of years older. Full on forearms exposed and it made me see him so differently. So manly. He made me pot brownies that literally made me hallucinate we're married with a son now.